Hello to you, this is me once again. Now, um, quite a few number of people ask me the sound quality of this new product, Bang & Olufsen's um, E8. And um, unless, I guess, you actually hear it for yourself, you, you, you can't really tell <laughs> by looking at this video, or um, I don't think I'm probably one of the best judge uh, in the world. But I'll just, I just decided to um, make a comparison to the other Bluetooth headset that I have. Um, so this is Jaybird. Uh, I think it's called um, Bluebuds X. Now this is quite an old model that I, I had actually more than two years ago. I bought it from Apple shop. Um, I trusted the Apple brand. I mean, they were selling it as the, the moment I stepped into the shop at that time, because it's uh, Apple is selling it, I thought, well, oh well, I need something when I work out, um, to hear music when I work out. I do like running sometimes. So I bought this. Now this product, um, it's quite old as you can see, it is it's very good for um, workout, you know, exercise and so on, because it's um, sweat proof. And it also has this extra rubber seal that you could fit in your ear. And the sound quality is very good. I would say it's, it's, it's pretty good actually for, um, for the size of it. Now, the thing I didn't like about is I always wished for a complete wireless. In other words, a, um, a earbud at the time, but it was the technology at that time wasn't available at all. And, um, I quite enjoyed this actually. I, I was literally listening to this every day, but now it's all aged, and you can see these are starting to fall off. Um, I'm sure Jaber is not going to like it when they see this. And also, the charging part is um, is cracked as well. <clears throat> um, this is where you charge it. And um, I don't know about um, a month ago, it started to crack, so it's a bit of an embarrassment. Not a really good presentation when you actually wear it in a public space. So I thought, well, um, I need to move on. I already had this for two years, a lot of electrical product, you know, like I think they're designed to last for, oh, there you go, for about two years. So um, yeah, the sound quality is, is good. Uh, when when you hear, when you work out, um, I, I've been told it's a lifetime guarantee sweat proof or something. I don't think you can swim with it, but um, it will, uh, be tough enough to prevent the sweat to go inside, basically. So, um, and then um, I think a couple of years later, I decided to buy uh, this Beats Wireless Studio 3. Now, this product is really good. It's an award winning product. And um, I believe, I don't know what award you won, but you know, Beats, what, what is, what's Beats well known for? As you know, it's, it's the sound of the, uh, the Beats sound is really good. Um, it's over the year, overlaps your year. But the downside of it is because of my head shape, uh, this top bit, it actually pushed down my head and I can't really wear it very long, surprisingly. So that was my big mistake there. But the sound quality as um, any of you out there who own this beautiful piece of Headset knows that this is a really good, this is a really good sound. Now, um, today I had an opportunity to actually directly compare it with my Bang & Olufsen's um, E3, and I have managed to, it was very difficult um, exercise. I had to do it numerous times, but I think I nailed it, the difference. Now this beat solo, people, it feels like the beat sound is fantastic. Okay, so if you're like into techno or like hip hop or those sort of things, it's going to be an excellent uh, piece to uh, own. Okay, and um, but the the difference that I managed to find out from Bang Olufsen's to Beats uh, Studio Three uh, Wireless is that the voice part there's a difference, certainly a difference now. It beats uh, so sorry beats Studio Three wireless. The, when so, when you hear the lyrics, when someone sings, it feels like someone's actually slightly 
away from you. In other words, like about five to ten meters away from you, uh, that sort of sound of quality. While as um, the Bang and Olufsen, it's very clear, crisp, and also very subtle. Now, uh, some people might argue that I'm being very biased because this is one of my latest uh, gadgets. But the other thing I wanted to show you is that you can also uh, choose what sort of preference of music you, you want to hear. In other words, there are different styling of uh, music, um, like tone that you can hear. So what, what you need to do, okay, is that when you go to the app, okay, this is the Bluetooth uh, bang and all listen app you go to this bit and um, you can choose like exciting mode or the bright mode relax mode warm mode and and so on I, I'm pretty much a, a, a fan of exciting mode it's just, the sound is much clearer and um, and so on um, but regards to the sound of the beat it might not be as loud as the um, as the uh, Beat Studio Three, but the the beat itself is is very subtle. I think the word "settled" and "nice" is the best way to describe it. Um, but obviously, this one I think is for more about like when you do studio work, when someone is in the studio <laughs> doing a long sort of. Um, music editing or watching films and etc probably that that might be something of an ideal product um, and the battery life I understand this to be up to 40 hours now this one the um, Jaybird it, it's about seven hours more or less seven hours um, while as the bang on all this and this one uh, the earbud itself is known to last for four hours but if you were to charge it um, for the whole thing together, um, I think there's an extension of 10 hours uh, of battery life as well. Um, and so I think each product, I, I can't really say which one is the best here, um, but I guess you guys are most interested about the sound quality. Um, it, it, it's really good. The Bang & Olufsen is really good. Um, especially the vo vocal part is very crisp. It feels like someone's more near to you and it's very well settled. But um, a lot of questions which have been asked, if someone would have asked me which one would I use for workout, well, I'll, I'll definitely recommend for Jaybird. This is really good for workout, um, lifetime sweat proof Bluetooth headset. But uh, for, for me, my preference, I just don't like this wire dangling and um, it's aging, so that's that's that. And battery life and the beat sound lovers, you know, like drums and so on, uh, hip hop. If you're that sort of type of person, then I'll I'll recommend the uh, Beat Solo Three. And for more like fashion and a very well settled and a bit of a you know show off, <laughs> shall we say? I would recommend the Bang & Olufsen. Um, it's the first Bang & Olufsen product that I owned and it really, it, I'm I'm in a great awe to it actually. Um, probably I might look into buy some speakers as well for our TV and etc. But we all know that it is a very expensive product but it's worth it. Um, so yeah, would I recommend it? Yes. Um, but. I really hope this answers your query because a lot of questions, most questions that I've been asked is whether this is ideal for workout. Um, I know it is, it certainly it is waterproof in some way, but the risk is how well would it actually settle in your ear? Um, that's a bit of a question. I don't want to risk it, so I wouldn't recommend this one. Um, I think this is something like when you want to walk in the street um, having a good, nice, relaxed day, um, shopping around or um, and, or commuting to work, sort of um, ear, earbud, while as to, for workout, Jaybird, definitely. Um, and they're all good quality sound, but out of this, I will definitely go for uh, sound quality-wise, Bang & Olufsen. Um, so I hope this video helped you understand 
about the the sound quality. I can't see how I could tr- prove more other than this. My apologies of uh, my short of expertise, but anyway, I hope that you find this video useful. Thank you very much for watching this. This is Love Jesus, please. Bye.